Al Gore gets rocked like a hurricane as his biggest lie turns nine years old. President Donald Trump and Americans everywhere are enjoying a huge laugh at the expense of former Vice President Al Gore today. The liberal weather expert is getting rocked like a hurricane as his biggest and most embarrassing lie hits its nine-year anniversary. The snark has started to heat up. And it's only getting warmer. The Gateway Pundit reports that former Vice President Al Gore's colossal hoax known as Global Warming, which alleged the entire North Polar ice cap would be completely ice free in five years, has turned nine years old this month, but his idiocy goes back even further than that. It was in January of 2006 that the Oval Office flunky first decided that he was a weather expert and told the world that the North Pole would be completely ice free within 10 years. The concocted computer models Gore referenced for his outrageous claims suggested that the North Polar ice cap may lose virtually all of its ice within seven years. Some of the models suggest that there is a 75% chance that the entire North Polar ice cap, during some of the summer months, could be completely ice-free within the next five to seven years, said Gore. In January 2006, Al Gore posited within the next 10 years, the world will reach a point of no return and a true planetary emergency due to global warming. Gore never gave up. He just doubled down. In fact, nine years ago this month in 2008, Gore again predicted the North Polar ice cap would be completely ice-free in five years to a German audience, telling them that the entire North Polarized cap will disappear in five years, the Gateway Pundit reports. Now, America and other countries with same leadership are laughing at Gore's big lie. This was really all just a ploy to increase government control on even the smallest aspects of everyday life. It was almost surreal to watch many countries start to bring about absolutely stupid policies like the carbon tax and to see places like communist California implement regulations on cow flatulence. After Gore's big lie took hold, the inmates were truly free to run the asylum. There wasn't anything they wouldn't do in the name of fighting global warming. While we laugh at Gore and his tremendous propensity for stupidity, we have to realize that he was a key player in one of the most detrimental government ideologies ever to hit America. The war on coal amped up to a fever pitch, and American manufacturing all but disappeared in the blink of an eye. Corporations took millions of jobs overseas to avoid the heavy burden of doing business in an over-regulated America. The destructive consequences of global warming prevention policies were brought about by key government agencies like the EPA, who severely abused their power and even politicized their purpose. Thank God, President Donald Trump has replaced the leadership in the majority of those government agencies to help bring back common sense and an attitude of America first. It almost seems too good to be true, but we have finally stepped out of the environmental twilight zone. To help celebrate the end of Gore's insane global warming hoax, below is a special tweet sent out by President Donald Trump on Thursday, December 28, 2017. Trump's viral tweet sent a shockwave throughout social media, and millions of people enjoyed a laugh at Gore's expense. Below is a clip of Al Gore giving another global warming speech back in 2009 when Barack Obama was still ruining our country as the president. It's hard to watch this clip and imagine Gore taking himself seriously, but he did, and sadly, so did so many liberal alarmists. I think Americans are sick of the liberal agenda. Global warming was a huge piece of their plan to put the screws to our economy and tie us to foreign entities who would have held our country hostage with an endless list of regulations. President Donald Trump's move to pull the U.S. out of the Paris Climate Agreement was nothing short of brilliant and a major win for American patriots. As he continues to take down policies that resulted in obscene levels of government overreach, it is crucial for us to continue supporting the president and to show the next generation that common sense and sound leadership is what makes a country great.